everyone, this is Elisha Maide here again. I'm going to be bringing you the words of Jesus Christ on marble. The words of Jesus Christ on marble. Because I've come to realize that the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ is the most neglected ministry in the church dispensation of our time. I mean, um, every word that came out of his mouth, we just take it bits and pieces here and there. And we are so, you know, so um, religious and so, um, so preoccupied with the ministry of every other prophet in the Bible, most especially in the Old Testament. But every word that Christ said, every teaching he was giving to his disciples, we have neglected them grossly, so grossly. And each time anyone or a group of descending ministers, most especially apostles, are trying to refer people to that part of the scripture. Everybody gets offended. Everybody's annoyed. Everybody brings out, you know, they bring out other scriptures to tie everything that Jesus said. And I begin to wonder, everything we do is in the name of this Jesus. It came to be an example to what we ought to do. God gave Jesus Christ for us. He died for us. He shed his blood for us to come and lay down the pattern on how we can be restored back and reconciled fully back and how the image of God can be fully formed in us. Remember, he said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. In the book of Genesis, and when man fell, by the mistakes of Adam and Eve, God brought Jesus on the scene to redeem us back unto himself. That fellowship that was broken in the garden, that one-on-one -on -one flow with, 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 with God the Father that we were having with him, that he was always coming in the cool of the night and was having one-on-one -on -one fellowship with Adam and Eve, the major reason why he created the earth. God wants that fellowship back. And that is the only reason, the primary reason, the number one reason of Jesus. The patterns he came to give us. The examples that he came to use himself to set. Any other example is unacceptable to God. Any other pattern is unacceptable to God. Christ died, shed his blood to come and show us the way. So let us return back to that way. So from time to time, I'm going to be bringing the words of Jesus on marble. The words of Jesus on marble. To remind us so that we can refocus. We can re-channel. We can redirect our lives. Our ministry and the works that God has committed into our hands. Follow me on this journey and you'll be blessed. In Jesus' name. So I'm going to go into the scriptures. I will take one scripture. From the mouth of Jesus, the, the word of Christ on marble. The words of Jesus Christ on marble. So I hope this one And um, in the book of um, John 5.19, John 5.19, then Jesus answered and said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the Father do. The Son can do nothing of himself. But what he sees the Father do. For whatever he does, the Son also does in like manner. And that is Christ laying a pattern there, telling his followers who we are. The church, we're supposed to be the followers of Christ. Do exactly what Christ is doing. He said, He, Him, Jesus, that came, that He does not do anything, He does not see His Father do. That he can do nothing by himself. He's always emphasizing on that. That I only do what I see my father do. Church world, believers, brethren, pastors, apostles, prophets, evangelists, popes, all of us. Can we check our lives? Can we check our ministry? Can we check our churches? Can we check our denominations? Can we check any work we say we are doing in the name of Jesus and say, yes, what I'm doing, this work I'm doing, I only do what I see Jesus Christ do. 
I only do what I see Jesus Christ do. Jesus because, Christ do. Because where his followers, Christ set an example. He followed his father. He only do, he does what he sees his father do. So what are you doing? What am I doing? Are we doing what we see Christ do? That is the question of the hour. And that is the focus God wants the church in this quiet time of COVID-19 that he has all of us locked down and shut in. That is what he wants us to begin to reflect upon. And as you do this, God will bless you. Spirits will begin to minister to you afresh because he needs us to have a mind shift, a mind shift in this set time. So that when we come out again, when we come out again, we will get it right 100% and absolutely. God bless you as you begin to check your work, your relationship, your ministry, your church, your de denomination or whatsoever work you say you are doing in the name of Jesus. Are you doing what Christ came to show you to do? God bless you as you reflect on this in Jesus' name. Amen.